Good morning. This is Larry Bonarato, and this is your Morning Minute. This is Adaptability Part 2, Education. Education begins at birth. The first most important teachers are the child's parents. They teach what is and is not acceptable behavior. As they adapt to their new life, young children learn speech, habits, and routines from their parents. Formal education has several goals. It should be designed to support the parental instruction while assisting the students to learn the skills necessary to achieve successful outcomes. Quality education teaches students how to adapt to different roles and responsibilities as they progress in school and grow into adults. Now let's look at some required skills learned from a quality education. Number one, speaking. This skill is necessary as a requirement for students to be able to effectively communicate with others. They must learn how to take a thought and, by using the spoken word, convey that thought to others. Number two, reading. This skill is necessary to increase their understanding of their environment. Videos and television, because they are subject to time constraints, only go skin deep. The written word not only introduces them to to different subjects, it provides the tools for them to understand the who, what, why, and how of the information that they are reading. Number three, understanding. Critical thinking teaches the student to question what they are being taught to determine its relevance to a subject, person, or event. Having the student examine the motives and background of the person or group sharing the information will enhance their ability to understand the benefits of the information that they see, see, hear, or read. Number four, writing. Being able to communicate with a written word is critical to being understood. Written communication is not just pen and paper. It includes the effective sharing of information and ideas using electronic electronic tools as well. Now the desired goals of a quality education include, number one, how to be adults who are responsible for themselves and others. This affects their decision making and the outcomes of those decisions. It also includes their participation in their government with informed voting. Number two, how to earn a living. As they are exposed to many different roles, they must decide how they will support themselves and how they will adapt their actions to achieve their desired results. Number three, how to be happy. Happiness is not derived from things, relationships, purpose, fulfillment, and a sense of belonging create happiness. As adults, we will need continuing education to successfully adapt to our changing goals. And that is today's Morning Minute.